Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of, of a new campaign in Base Vanilla Boy 4, which we're playing as Argentina uh, with the newest DLC at the time of this recording called Trial of Allegiance. Um, we're on A Historical for this campaign. It's March 10th, 1936. I honestly have no idea what this uh, DLC is about except for new focus trees for Chile, Argentina, a little bit for Paraguay, Uruguay, and Brazil. A focus tree for them, so. Uh, for this campaign we've got Agustin Pedro Justo. You still? But we're going to go with Roberto Maria Ortiz. Roberto Maria Ortiz has won the election by a clear majority, meaning that the Concord, uh, Concordancia Coalition continues its governance of Argentina. In his acceptance speech, he places an emphasis on ratifying his faith in democracy, creating a promise of respect for freedom and the guarantees that the Constitution establishes for the Argentinian people. But before we do that, we should see what problems we have. We have a legacy of the naval arms race. While there's no formal treaties preventing the expansion of the Brazilian, Chilean, or Argentinian navies, there's been an informal arrangement since the Great War that has prevented it. If any of the nations of the region were to begin arming their fleets with new capital ships, a new arms race would be inevitable. Infamous decade. This was a period of time in Argentine history that began with the 1930 coup d'etat against President Hippolito Uruguayan. It was a time marked by two things. On the one hand, significant rural exodus following the Great Depression, and on the other, blatant electoral fraud to perpetuate conservative governments in power. The Roca Runciman Treaty. Uh, this agreement is a significant trade pact between Argentina and the United Kingdom, signed in May of 33. They guaranteed Argentina with a fixed share in the British meat market in exchange. Argentina agreed to restrictions with regard to trade and currency exchange, preserving the UK's commercial interests in the country. We have the Monroe Doctrine. The US has long promised to protect the Western Hemisphere from outside interference by colonial powers, meaning any incursion into our territory would likely mean the USA would come to our aid. However, if our politics no longer align with that of the US, we might find ourselves unprotected and political corruption for many years. Argentina has been plagued by fervent corruption within its government. While it was thought that by allowing the Concordancia to form, it might have lessened fraudulent votes and voter intimidation if it continued to be present. And then we uh, help out our infamous decade right here uh, as we get more. Uh, oh, Roberto, you're here. Oh, I guess then. Also, like I said, we're on a historical, so I guess they're still going to go uh, without their fascist path. Um, so now we'll get a choice. We can do El Manifesto Concordancia. Some more non-aligned democracy support, British economics and whatnot, import substitutions, which is not a bad path. I like that extra research slot, because we only have two right now, which is not very good. Uh, we could go with a more fascist, but really non-aligned path with Juan Perón. Uh, Peronism, which would be kind of cool. And go with American push. Uh, but truth be told, uh, counteract military cells from the imminent military coup attempt. Um, I want to go this way. Work with the nationals. So that sounds like more fun. Perhaps it is time. Uh, we take a different approach to governing. After all, the growing corruption has been plaguing the elections for years clearly shows no signs of slowing. If we work with the national entities in the country, um, then we may have a better chance of restoring order to Argentina. So more fascist support, more recruitable population, less daily democracy support, and more stability. God, 70 day focuses it hurt so badly. Turkey remilitarized us, we have a lot of political power, and I'll be honest, I love the PP. So, um, oh, Roberto Maria Ortiz is right here too. We're going to go with uh, Tenacious Negotiator's not bad, so her tongue is interesting. Uh, but we're going to go with Julio Argentino Pascual Roca. He's got Argentino. 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 Yeah. In his name. I think we got to hire someone like that. And following that, Crackdown on Corruption. Remove Political Corruption. With Add Crackdown on Corruption. We lose 10% more political power, which kind of sucks, but it helps us out with more fascist support, too. And Daily Unaligned Support, which is eh, it's not bad. Italian Argentine agreement. Hmm. Well, we could cut ties with, the, with these guys. It helps our consumer goods. More daily fashion support, too. Well, it is, it is true that the island nation of the UK has been our closest trading partner. The Treaty of Our Beef is only hindering our ability for our own people to provide for the country, which has shown an anti British sentiment throughout the populace and prove uh, to the world that we should stand on our own two feet without the colonial powers of Europe and, of course, crack down on corruption. Despite being voted in in one of the most fraudulent elections in Argentinian history, Ortiz fully intends to crack down on the levels of corruption within the government. Irony aside, this can only help to make Argentina stronger, so we can either choose to be with the Germans. Actually, we'll do both the Germans and the Italians over here. Um, Guardia Nacional versus Union Nacional Fascista. And of course, there's rapid militarization over here, which only gives you a yearly benefit of rapid militarization. Um, two military factors. Uh, two military factors over here, and you get Argentine nationalism, which I kind of want to go for. More population, recruitable population factor, more war support, civilian factory uh, speed. I, I like that one a lot. So we're probably going to go with that one. And like I said, we have only two research slots, which really sucks. So it's a good thing you're going fast. You're still going to stay fascist. You're going fascist, Italy. 
Um, can I send volunteers at all? I'd love to send volunteers, but we unfortunately cannot, Mr. Strong Chin Man. Um, so we got this over here. I want to work on daily army XP. 10% more attack is not bad. We're going to grab that immediately. Oh, and you. Oh, the fascists have started a civil war here, huh? Oh, they're puppet of Italy. Oh, that's actually really good for the Italians then, probably. Oh, like, traditional warfare. Oh, God. No naval tradition, of course. And Air Force in infancy. I mean, that makes sense. We are sending two things away. We're trading away goods for some oil, because I do want to get some naval XP. Not sure if it'll be really important or not. Probably not. Oh, wait. With the Civil War, are they, they're still fighting. Oh, they probably sent their soldiers through here. Young Japanese officer corps. All right, well, also to let you know, um, I did. I bought the DLC myself, The Trial of Allegiance. I'll be honest, I completely forgot that it came out at the time of this recording. So, yeah, I did not get this early access. It just, I literally forgot about it, I'm not going to lie. I just forgot about the DLC that was coming out. I was spending so much time in Old World Blues at the time of this recording that it's a lot of fun. I love Old World Blues. It's one of my favorite mods ever. Um, who do we have here? Engineer, Ford Attack. Uh, harsh leader would be nice. Uh, any river crossers? No. Well, engineer experience factor. Sure. Carlos, you can lead us. Um, you can do that too. There we go. Work with the nationalists. Um, do I want to lose that 10% right now? That's a pretty good amount of political power. Better or worse part, we get more daily fascist support though if we do this. Um, this would also give us more daily fascist support and give us better economy laws too. Because we do want to go to War uh, Economy, War Partial Mob. Uh, yeah, cut ties with Britain first. Because eventually we want to rely via the colonial plan. Oh, German Reich is in a faction with Argentina, huh? Oh, what is this? Okay, interesting. Establish a foothold here. Annex Uruguay. Or we can make an ultimatum and make him a, a puppet of us. Which I do like too. That's kind of nice. Uh, we should probably do a support radical nationalism first. Just so we get that really fast fascist support. Ever since we removed the shackles of the Spanish Empire, we've been striving to find the Argentinian identity. We've thrived and survived here. Uh, one, and proven once and for all that this land is ours, let us empower the Argentinian identity and remind everyone who is the true powerhouse of South America. Why not? I think that's a good idea. Uh, up next, anyone for high command? Juan Perón. Not bad. Logistics. Capital ship. Close air support. It's all okay. Theorists, you get better land auction costs and whatnot. Honestly, it doesn't seem very beneficial to us right now. Political advisors, 150 political power. Uh, probably someone fascist. That was rapidly drift that direction. Or, oh, Diogenes, Diogenes, the Bauda. Minus 15% because it's not bad. I still don't mind getting even more political power though, too. Um, there's not really a lot that I really want here, to truth be told. The more political power we can get, the better, the faster for now, you know. Growing nationalist movements. The Argentine Nationalist Party has made waves across the country and as such. More and more people flock to the ranks to support the growing ideology. Or ideology. Argentine nationalism uh, follows the idea of restoring the Argentinian identity and submitting ourselves as a dominant power in South America. You know, I want that BP. Nice. Yeah, yeah, we'll do this one next. As much as I want more political power, I don't want to lose any more political power. And even though I want more fascist support, we'll get more we'll get going with this one. Oh, and Spain has gone kaboom. Nice. And God, these 70 day focuses. Why are we why do we still have 70 day focuses? It's 2024 at the time of this recording. Oh my lord. Why? Why must you bane us so? Oh, we're gonna be aggressive. And offensive. Just like me in real life. So we're making a couple divisions here. I wanna make infantry, they're 18 combos with nothing on them, which is an unfortunate thing. Um we have a Brigada Montana, Mountaineers. It's decent. It's not great. It's really just okay. Um, and we might need to use cavalry to just be moving very quickly. We don't have that many things here. Uh, I would really actually really start working on tons of artillery, trucks, and like, just guns. So, I'll put you down here for now. Everything else can kind of wait. So, there's that. Who is this guy? Radical anti personnel. More political power, more daily democracy support, and support for unaligned. Well,. Now we gotta really boost up our fascist support, so. Military bonus for industry. Join the Ar Italian Argentine Agreement Research Sharing Group. 
Not bad. Uh, corporatism. More fascist support, which we could wait to do. Unlocks the Ligas Petra. Patrioticas division template and recruit five units in Buenos Aires. A research that would be nice. Support the Spanish War. You know what? That's happening now. We could probably do that. Our brothers in Spain are currently engaged in a bloody civil war for the future of the country. Uh, Franco's ideas for a military controlled government greatly align with ours. We should send aid immediately and show the world the fallacies of democracy. I think that'd be great. I think that would be fantastic. Um, so we'll do that one. And we, hey, we can demand compensation from Spain. Raise uh, relations using all that political power we get. Uh, so let's do this one next. Invite Spanish nationalists. We we'll send an event to a national Spain demanding that they give us Equatorial Guinea. They are more likely to accept that they have a high opinion of us. Our Spanish brothers successfully taken back the powers that was rightfully theirs. Now, maybe we should remind them that they, well, we played our part in their success and it's time to pay it back up. Um, I like the military factory first. Encourage German investments. Despite being seen by many as a uh, pariah of Europe, the German Reich has become an industrial and military powerhouse. We have always been relatively friendly with the Germans due to having a significant amount of German people living in Argentina. We should reach out to them and see if they're willing to invest in a growing nationalist movement, followed with Italo Argentine diplomacy. Italian fascism has been the standard model in which the primary nationalist party of Argentina has modeled their policies after. We should send an envoy to Rome, or Roma, and open up a new channel of diplomacy between our countries. It would be a great opportunity to set up a research agreement so both of our nations can benefit from rapid technological advancement. Ejercito Argentino. Though they are nothing to scoff at, our armed forces are still much weaker than desired. Arming the soldiers with more modern weapons as well as training them to be ready for combat at any time is essential. Um, what else we got here? More than 40% world tension, support technology, gain plus 10 decryption speed, military factories would be nice. Uh, Army experience game would be pretty good too. Army experience, da da da. More air XP would be nice. I'm sure this gives us naval XP. Um, strength of the common soldier, defense of core territory and organization versus investment in motor industries, which we're probably not going to go with. Think warfare is nice and all, but heavy guns industry, acquire foreign designs, domestic production, mechanized troops. Oh, it's not bad. It's not great. Increase further, further increase army professionalism, which is not bad. Increase conscription. Ooh, recruit a population. That looks weird to see at 1.5%. You know, usually it's 1.50%, which makes it look no normal. I like that, but even more professionalism would be nice. Experimental rocket designs. Oh, we'll see. Because right now, I just still want to do uh, Banco Centro de la República Argentina. Established by the Sixth Acts of Congress in 1935, the Banco Central de la República Argentina replaced Argentina's currency board. Its president, Ernesto, uh, what's your face? Uh, Bosch, aims to develop the bank and help kickstart our economy to help us. Uh, financially start recovering from the Great Depression. So, I'm waiting to do corporatism because that's a fat 10% of fascist support. I'm waiting to get to up like a little bit above 40. So we get to, to above 50. So we can flip over, hopefully. Um, this one auto-completed because Italy is actually in a civil war right now. And I would love to get a research slot, but we're just waiting. And I would like to do this one. We need to get it, be in a faction with uh, Germany, huh? Issues ultimatum. Or puppet, or just go to war with them. While well, the new regime takes hold, we must decide how to proceed regarding smaller neighbors. Uruguay has always been contested territory, and taken by force will sure, uh, serve to show the rest of the world that we're not to be underestimated. Maybe we should just do that. Also, we're here in Spain, too. We're having a good old time. I do want to go with superior firepower, too, just to see what it'd be like. Um, so how do we flip over to become a fascist? Uh, more army speed every day is nice. Um, so we'll do this one next. And then, where are we at for that? Don't get me wrong, I like corporatism. Uh, corporatism is a fundamental idea of fascism, and it's something we should implement as soon as we possibly can. To do this, though, we would have to rely on the local elites and talents and open the door for the advancement in the new fascist hierarchy of Argentina. This is how we will lead our country into future-filled loyalty and efficiency. And Mountaineers are good. We're going to go with Spear Firepower. I like Soft Attack. So we'll see about that. And I want to be able to add on. Engineering schools are not bad. Political loyalty. I like that. Um, accomplished heritage. Overwhelming Firepower is usually pretty good to do. Um, other than that, Smoke and Fire. We'll see. Can I join a faction eventually? Need more world tension, so. Learning anything on the Peron? Uh, Arturo Rossin? Yeah, not so much right now, no. Let's help him out. So I sent the Mountaineers here. Of course, we could just go to war. We're improving worker conditions. 73% stability is pretty good overall. 52% war sports is not bad. Uh, I wonder if we can take on Uruguay right now. I really do wonder. We should, probably should be able to, right? Doesn't look too bad. Um, so maybe we'll try to attack him next. Because as much as I want to do this one, we can't really do anything with him yet. We're still uh, here. Still trying to boost ourselves up. 
We get 1.39 political power every day. Ooh. Anarchist Uprising has finished the war. That's good for them. Uh, as soon as you get there, they should be in there, right? Or, or not. Okay. Uh, take your time, I guess. Um, it's 1937, though, so. More industry, and we're gonna go with this one. Whatever. Good job, guys. Move, 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 move. Oh, are you not at war with them now? Yeah, okay, yeah, I, I was thinking, like, what, what, why are you not going in? This makes no sense. Um, oh, there you go. Found him. Well then, go here, here, here. You go around. There probably is a division here, isn't there? Found him. Yeah, that would make too much sense. Oh, hello. Well, I'm glad we're up, helping hold the line here. Mm -hmm. Ground attack factor plus 5% is not bad. Capital ships. Yeah, we could just flip to fascism. That'd be really easy for us. Fan communism. I mean, it's 40%, so after this one, we'll do corporatism. Or maybe we can do this one next. Establish a foothold. War goal against them. Moving fast, hard, the way we like it. Might be for the best. Now, superior firepower. That would be bad, but I still want more. Is there more fashion support here? I can just max out on uh, political power, I guess. Uh, but probably not. Daily support for unaligned. Daily support for unaligned. Consumer goods factor. Raise conscription level, maybe. <sighs> I really want to become fascist, though. So. Let's wait to see if we can become fascist. We'll use that one instead for now. That'll be fine. We're fighting some Soviets too, aren't we? We definitely need more guns. Um, radar. Well, let's see what happens. We get two more military factors this way too. It's only 35 days, then we can do that one next. Hopefully, Juan here is learning something. So we can throw on some artillery here. We're free, basically. 192, infantry. That's gonna hurt, ruin, ruin us a little bit. And will it ruin us? Uh, maybe not too much, okay, that's good, that's good. This gives you a little more soft attack. Fine, go ahead and train, it's fine. Doing that is nice. Gives us uh, another military factory to use. Yeah, at least do that one. And give a few more trucks. Good. Now, I would like to increase. I would, we need a ton of army XP um, overall. Oh, Portugal is here too. Look at that. Oh. Uh. What the barnacles just happened? Ah, we have to support. Oh, it was because we're. Oh, okay. Well, that sucks. Let's see if we flip. Turn across Latvia to clear war in Latvia. Oh, Poland's in a civil war too. Italy's in a civil war as well. Even though they have fascist Ethiopia with them, but whatever. So I'm hoping here that we can flip to fascism or a fascist government uh, soon. I don't see anything else where we could not. I would like to send you volunteers, but maybe not. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, get an event here to say something about it. Still, would like to lower our this for censorship would not work. Communists would not be bad. Ban Democratic parties, but they're already pretty low as is. So I guess we'll try to establish foothold. We need more than 60% support for the UNF. Maybe we should have waited for that because that's going to take forever to get to. Can I lower, like, other supports? Uh huh. Maybe I should have waited. But this is my first time doing this, so. This would be good, yeah. Established by the six acts of Congress. We gotta get this. Yeah. What are we missing here? 
Electric equipment. Not bad. 9% of world tension is not enough. It's 1937. I guess we'll send you a division anyway, just because we need we need that army XP. It's not going to be very much at all, don't get me wrong. Um, you know what? Screw it. We're going to have enough political power as is. As long as we all beat up the, the communists and the democratic people, that's all we really care about. So seriously, when are going to flip to a fascist support? Do that. We're having pretty good relations with them. We're trading our ships. Nice. Industry is good. Grab more construction speed if you can. Um, I'll stop trading for now. 20 days to recover. That should be okay. Establish a foothold. Uh, Re-establish Ligas Patrioticas. The Ligas Patrioticas was a far-right parapolice civil organization that operated in Argentina during the 20th since then. They had all since dispersed. Perhaps it's time to reinvigorate this movement to help us establish order among the rampant corruption in our country and fascist researchers. As the country slowly moves closer to the uh, path of fascism, it'd be wise to invest in the expansion of our national research. After all, establishing order and loyalty in Argentina is just the beginning. If all goes to plan, we may need much stronger military technology than we are currently sporting. Yeah. You know what? More communism? They oh, ban the communists. That's going to hurt stability. Gives us slightly more stability. Uh, or would you say, straight up, die. But I don't want to lose permanent stability, so this might be better to do. So. This will go up quite a bit, though, which we don't necessarily want. So if this doesn't go well, then we'll do some other things here, too. So, we'll see. Go in, please. Why did you give the horses only that one? Makes no sense. Oh, look at that. Nice. There you go. Oh, they actually came aboard here, huh? Well, would you look at that? Did not expect that to happen. You're not even close to being in range. Okay. Well, we broke over. That's all that really matters. Do not give him time to recover. No, you guys go here. Nice. Good. Now, beat him up. It's only one division, but that'll be nice. Oh, look at that. Offensive war, infamous decade, crackdown of corruption. War sport, negative 30%. Always good, right? Always good to see that. Nice, nice. Oh, Pakistan, I guess, exists too. Look at that, huh? We're to figure. Keep those boys in place. Go in and around them. If you possibly can. Everyone else is busy right now. Oh, well, I guess you can't go in and around them. It's fine. We should be good. Overall. Uh, they don't have an airbase there, so it sucks. Should be able to get this tile, though. That's why we put artillery on our guys, too. Show land appropriation. Uh, that's not bad to consider doing war propaganda. If we have the political power for it right now, but we definitely do not. Good, we got over the river. Just a little bit more grinding. Taking this out would probably be for the best, because then we can start using our planes. There you go. Tiny bit more damage. Helps us out on all fronts. Don't give them a break at all. And helps with the air speed too. Oh, you should probably have that. So, are we out of guns and artillery? No, we're actually looking decent. Not everything that we have here. Good job. Fortress Buster, Scavenger. Be a scavenger. We want as many equipment, pieces of equipment as possible. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. A legion. Oh, what's going on? Why is it lagging so hard? Oh! Well, the Soviet Union's killing itself. Nice. Five more divisions of eight combat width. Motorized? Oh, that's different. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, I'm not sure how much how useful these motors really will be. So we'll see. Soviet Civil War, very nice, very nice. Here, up mount. We're at war. We need more war support. Okay. Hey, we got him. Probably better to pop at them, but whatever. Hey, we expanded in the first episode. Nice. Good job, everybody. 4% war support. I'm tempted just to ban, straight up ban communism right now. Daily democracy support and support for unaligned. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, hurts political power there if we do that one. Don't think I really want to do that one. We'll see. What's going on here in Chile? Uh, that one. Would Paraguay be better to do? The communists? Well, we'll see. These guys are turning fascist as well. You're democratic, fighting non aligned people. So. We'll see. Yeah, that really destroyed a war sport and whatnot, did it? Alright, so what do we got here? I really want another research slot fast. Cap Capitalize the beef industry sounds pretty good. Tax reforms is okay. Production initiative? Our production tools are outdated and could use refitting. We should funnel money to developing your production technology to help speed up the creation of necessary components for the military. Yeah, sure, why not? Develop the electricity sector. Our electricity sector is in need of upgrading, and so it would be wise for us to focus on resources and researching further technology to aid with our electrical developments. Invest in construction guilds. Construction guilds are the backbone of urban development. Our next task should be to funnel funding into Argentina's guilds to ensure that our construction technology is able to keep up with the rest of the world. Uh, technical schools. By developing technical schools, we can actively increase the amount of technical advisors that we can employ across the government. Further, in this type of education is only bound to help boost our economic prowess. Industrial prowess. Uh, industrial expansion. A strong industry is the backbone of any economy. We should focus on our research into developing more options for industrial expansion. Rapid urbanization. A lot of Argentina remains as rural lands. Uh, but the way forward in the 20th century is act about urbanization. By developing our cities, we can convince more people to move there, meaning that we'll gain... A significant increase in the workforce for highly industrialized centers. Military production lines. With a growing crisis throughout the world, it would be a smart idea to invest in the future of our military production. If we build more factory complexes and designated military hardware, then we'll be preparing ourselves in the best way possible for the storm to come. A treaty. Tax incentives. Aluminum, steel. That would be bad either. Uh, immigration wouldn't be bad either. I like immigration to South America, yeah? Why not? Immigrate here, please. Founding logistics company, or department, or expand military facilities. In order to properly build the arm the military, we must enlarge the weapons industry. Thus, building new industrial facilities, speci specifically uh, tailored towards production of the military equipment, is a must. And expand the ar uh, army academy. Having effective weapons is not only the factor that determines the outcome of a battle, Another huge factor still is not only the skill of the soldier, but also that of the general command of the troops. Through just and we should invest in expanding the operations of the Army Department of our military academy. A call for international revolutionary brigades. Ivan Smirnov has made a call for the volunteers in the struggle against Joseph Stalin. The call has been answered by various groups and international brigades forming. Oh, well, alright. And now, as we're doing the Union of Nacional Fascista, um, we are going to go ahead and flip to fascism, hold a national referendum. With sufficient support, we may now safely hold a referendum to affect the Ginger government without bloodshed. The rapidly growing Argentinian fascist movement has never claimed that they need a majority support before they seize power, counting on uniting the nation under their leadership once the rules established. However, it seems that their support has grown rapidly. Many fascists are now calling Roberto Maria Ortiz a hypocrite, claiming to represent the wishes of the people while in reality turning a deaf ear to the masses. 
The call for a referendum has been dismissed as a typical attempt at disrupting the system by concordancia members so far, but at least it's a political measure. If we do not act now, the fascists may choose a violent struggle as a better path to power. If these people want it, we'll hold the referendum. And look at that flag! Uh, mi, mio de Aquin? Argentine nationals, 10% more recruitable population factor. More worth supporting, just five local sounds gets better. Fantastic. And we have that one, we're gonna do these as well. But at least that lets us push down here. Finally, we can get down here. Um, as much as I want to join the Axis, I, I really do want to do Argentina first, because we get more daily army speed gain, recruitable population factor, more stability, more war support. Get our own faction. I like that idea. Um, there is one. I can't remember. Uh, through the endless corruption and infighting, it's clear that the Concordancia leadership are useless. It's time for a major change in Argentinian politics. Nemio uh, de Aquin has garnered enough popularity as a leader of the Union Fa Nacional Fascista and is ready to leave the country and return a sense of nationalist pride. Ooh, look at that. Um, to the Argentine League. Cool. So that's 1938, which is honestly not great for us. But finally, we can start moving around maybe. And. Oh, can't even go here yet. Okay, we need more war support. I want to go to war with Paraguay. Why? Because we can. Actually, is Paraguay in here? I mean, I guess. You know. Well, yeah, I guess technically. We can issue an ultimatum to them, or we can conquer them. Higher opinion would help us, so. I guess we wait. Really, I guess we'll wait and see. Uh, they're still fighting here, so now we can actually send divisions to the Spanish directly. No. We need 30 divisions. Oh, crap. I'm making all sorts of divisions. As you can see. Wow, Polish Peasant Republic. Um, bunch of commies over there. Well then, Great Britain. Oh, they went down the line for this campaign. Well, I'll go look at that. Well, I guess next, Argentine nationalism. The spirit of the conquistadors run through our veins, and we would be smart to uphold their namesake of conquering the Americas. Let us rally those who want to fight and die for the country and prepare industries for the mass production of weapons and machines. The Argentine League prepares for war and then war division. All wars are built on good preparation. As we build a cabinet and manufacture our war machine, we grow closer and closer to our expansion's goals each day. Nice. Cracked down on corruption, so. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, 79 still not bad. Looking pretty thick here. End of the Soviet Civil War. Ooh. I can't help but the fascisti here. Well, no. The actual. The people who started off as fascists are no longer going to be fascists. We can still send them to Volan. Why did. Why, why, why call us Spain? I guess it's considered the original Spain that you could send stuff to, so we can't help but the fascists there. Which does kind of suck. I do have Mountaineers here, though. That'd be nice. Um, is there anyone else? Uh, we just need more divisions. India's. Wow, Pakistan is actually almost united. That's actually really bad for India. Wow. But I just want to rush down this focus tree as fast as we can. I really do want to do Argentina first, though. We could join the Axis. We owe a lot of the Axis powers for ability to place La Confederación Argentina under strong and stable leadership. As such, we should reach out to them and request to join their war, helping to spread fascism across the world. Or us. Through careful consideration, we've decided that the best course of action for La Confederación Argentina's future is to stay out of the growing conflict in Europe and instead focus on La Confederación Argentina's need for growth and stability. Let us form our own faction, stand on our, our own against the world. Because when we get down here, South American unity allows us to integrate conquered territories in our nation. So hopefully, we don't, I just want to focus on South America. That's all I really care about. That is my goal. You get 20% more attack, which is why I wanted this route as well. So, um, darn it. Well, I don't think I'll get any more war support anytime soon. Fine, I'll go to partial mob. That's a little bit, not much. Uh, we're looking decent on stuff here for the most part. And, oh, they went to war. Look at that. Argentine nationalism. War division. Yes. This only helps us for a year. It's not very much more, but still. Uh, what are we missing here? Oh, lots of guns. We need steel. Oh, and how did Chile do? Uh, the Mapuche state. Not a line, huh? Mapuche nationalism. Wow, look at that. That's a lot of green buffs. More daily compliance, too. Legacy of 1881, huh? So, now they're at war. Nordic Confederation. Nordic Confederation. Nordic Confederation. A faction led by Denmark. I don't think I've actually ever played as Denmark. I think that's a mistake. I should have played as Denmark. Uh, but it's, it's not as high as I'd like it, but that's alright. Maybe we'll get more war support this way, too. That'll be good. 
Yeah, I just want us to go first and then go to our own path eventually, but dominate the south. I mean, I, I want to go to war as fast as possible, so. Um, so if we do Peregrine Ultimatum, we can become our puppet, and more likely to accept if they have an opinion of us. Paraguay is a strategic territory that would be crucial to our war goals against the rest of the continent. They can either agree to work under us or be forced militarily to fall under our banner. The choice is there, send the ultimatum, versus conquer Paraguay. There is no room for negotiations. The country Paraguay stands in our way of South American domination. Rather than send an ultimatum, it's best that we grab the bull by the horns and declare war on our neighbor. And then you have the Mapuche state. Reach out to them. The Mapuche. Mapuche state, compared to our other immediate neighbors, is much larger and more powerful. It would be wise to reach out to them and offer an opportunity to ally with us. Perhaps if we see their coveted territory back to them, they'll be more likely to accept. We'll give them two territories. Um, and then Mapuche ultimatum. For too long we've had a border tensions with the Mapuche state, and we truly want to secure ourselves as a dominant power here in South America. We'll just need to neutralize them as soon as possible. They can join us either peacefully, or we'll march on the lands, claim what is ours. And then the old enemy. And then I really want this one. Hmm. The war machine, secure the borders. Preparations for war. Integrate Operation Bolivar, which would be nice too, actually. For a while now, the German Reich uh, has been running several espionage missions across South America. This directive, affectionately named Operation Bolivar, has been operating in La Confederación uh, Argentina. Now that we're in good terms with the Germans, we could work, could work to integrate the program and encourage it to spread across the continent. Anti-American sentiments, huh? Oh, let's go to Denmark. Goodbye, Denmark. Keep going down that line, Doctor, please. Mm, stability, yeah. If that's the case. 18 combat is still very good. Um, it's not great. That's still okay. Dominate the South. So, for two years, you get 15% more attack on core territory as well as 10% more attack on defense on core territory. Oh, now we can do that. Come on, dang. Oh, hello. I guess get there quickly. <coughs> Hopefully they don't have a ton of divisions. Hopefully we can cut them off at some locations here. Um, bad if it's sport, sure. Please go to war with us. Oh, Peru, Peru. Peru declared Ecuador, Luxembourg, North Operation. Oh, that makes sense why they did all that. You know, just because it's safe. It is looking very communist and thick. Uh, ah, oh, now they're blue. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Just in case, since I want to go to Worlds anyway, just go ahead and go home. Prepare. Oh! Oh, look at that. Peru is nice and long. Is there any more guns? How many more guns do we need? 900 something? Can we buy any? Uh, here we go. Basic after with it. We gotta do that. Yeah, that's fine. God dang it. We wasted all the PP for this. Or we can get the theorist. Well, honestly, it really doesn't matter too much. I'd rather have factories. Green, Mao, and Norway, huh? Yugoslavia. Okay, stop going to war with everybody. And the League of Nations. Ireland joined the Axis. Republica Social Italiana. Ireland. Well, Ireland's doing stuff. Oh, are they fighting the Greeks too? I have a feeling uh, Germany's declared war on too many people. Czechoslovakia and Yugoslavia and Italy and France and Luxembourg. <clears throat> Not ideal for them. Not ideal. But it is what it is. Um, looks like they want to come fight us, so we can wait for that. We could do the war machine. Yeah, that'd be pretty good overall. Or we could get preparations for war. 35-day focus. 
our, our own path. That's not bad. So conscription law. Oh, that'd be good to get too. More political power. Um, uh, while we might be ready to go to war this very instant, the supply situation at our borders. It tells a different tale. By improving our supply lines, we uh, ensure a swift defeat of our adversaries. Ah, okay, so they did go to war with us. Okay. Um, they're not like argh, kill them all. Oh, get another division. Nice, good. I want to make an encirclement. And honestly, we're probably going to get ourselves. See what you can do. Hello? What are you doing down here? Concepcion. Very nice. You know what, you're here. Help us get to Santiago. Nice. Help us out. Help us out. Or go here first, I guess. And we are so gun like I said, we would. How did I know that would happen? How did I know? Come on, take him out. There's only three divisions there. Two. Not ideal. Hop out there, please. And they're spreading all around in our territory. Not good. Um, can you guys keep these guys in place? Maybe. Oh, oh, okay. That was the fastest I think I thought I was going to have to take him out. But all right. Uh, hey, we're looking pretty good. And we were in a defensive war for that. All right, Paraguay. At this point, I'm just going to eat a Paraguay then. Not bad. Now we need more guns. Actually, no good on guns. We need more trucks, if anything. we got plenty of uh, firearms now. Oh, I forgot, even for, but I forgot about you guys. Whoopsie. There you go. Hey, we literally doubled the size of our navy. Isn't that fantastic? Awesome. Well, we're just going to straight up conquer them. Sing a Vienna Award. Well, the Axis, they do have Turkey in there. These guys are still putting up a fly. They haven't advanced very much here. Um, interesting. Very interesting. The Great Chilean Earthquake. At 2332 yesterday, the Earth began to shake strongly underneath Chilean, destroying more than half the city. At 2335, Concepcion was violently hit. Almost all the buildings were completely destroyed. The earthquake is estimated to have had a surface wave magnitude of 8.3 and a maximum Mercalli intensity of X, leaving a death toll of just around 28,000 people, with many more displaced or injured. Today is a grim day for the people of Chile. We need help the people. Oh god. When the spirit, national spirit, a relief efforts is removed after the Chilean earthquake, we have bigger problems. Oh my god. Well, I guess we're going to help the people, why not? We took them over, but we're here to help. Fish. How's it going to come to Paraguay? And I guess this is probably just going to bypass and then the old enemy. At long last times come for us to turn our attention uh, to the north where the shadow of our oldest rival looms over us. And Dagulus Brazil has always said it was the greatest enemy on this continent. Sam we're going to reignite the spirit of the Cisplane War and pave, uh, pave the path of conquest toward the Rio de Janeiro. Aftermath of the Chilean earthquake, though. An earthquake in magnitude 8.3. Oh, I read this one pretty much. Horrifying. Truly horrifying. Oh, my goodness. That's still 60, though. Um, I would like to like throw engineers and whatnot on here, so we should probably research more support companies. We're looking pretty good on everything else, though. Could use some casts, some better planes. Uh, it's 1939, so let's grab some of this too. Um, I'll go about a meter on that one. Um, I'm going to close that one because I would like to make the mountaineers at least a little thicker. Uh, get more fighters, why not? Gonna hit him real hard when we do that. 
Anything else special here? Uh, I mean, I guess we could have saved it for that, but you know, whatever. Air stuff. I mean, that's important and all, but honestly, I'd rather do like more war sport. I'd rather do other stuff like this. As a contra, try to conquer Paraguay. Uh, ultimatum. Goodbye. Uh, on our own path is great. This war machine or the war machine. Uh, let's, let's integrate things. It seems like they're not super weak, which makes sense, I guess. There's a little bit more time to get more stuff up here. German right claims the mill. But like I said, it seems like they're trying to do too much right now. Throw an airbase there. We got until the end of the month. It's fine. Um, well, they're definitely trying. I might make some couple games here in Yugoslavia. Oh, even the Luxembourgians have made some claims here, too. Would you look at that? There you go. Well, let's see. Maybe they start attacking us. Maybe they won't. Oh, then they will. There is a river there. We already lost 2,000. <clears throat> well, as long as they want to attack us, I'm okay with it. Oh, that's very fast. Hey, nice. Or at least Helmut. Uh, or the war machine. As the new regime grows in power, we need to have a military to match. It's crucial that we invest in raising more military industrial compounds across the country, not just in Buenos Aires. Let the Argentinian war machine rise. So we can do this one, and then we can probably do this one immediately. So let's do the old enemy first. Let's just play in war. Why not? Okay, you know what? If they want to make their mistakes, I'm totally okay with that. Oh, they're a bunch of commies. Oh, there goes the fascist Spanish, whatever. Told the Chaco War. Chaco War. Oh, the aftershock of the Triple Alliance. Where's the Armadas? More attack and defense. Artillery attack and defense, interesting. Ah, so we can finally see how strong they are. Well, they won't make their mistakes. Let them, please. Please, please, please let them. Um, don't get me wrong, I would like to attack too, but still. But if they want to continue doing that. We all gladly let them. Ooh, more, so many more operative slots. Ooh, utilized domestic film industry. The Argentinian film industry developed significantly in the last decade. With a population star for entertainment, we stand a benefit from a cinematic production designed to stir patriotic sentiment. <clears throat> in an effort to improve public opinion towards war effort, our propaganda ministers have selected the exceptional cinematic production of Our War, a sublime viewing experience with a strong patriotic sentiment, for a screening across the country, of course. We hope that this heralds in the beginning of a long historic tradition for a patriotic film ministry. The results so far have been exciting. A masterpiece. <coughs> like I said, I want more research companies or stuff, but like, can't quite get that yet. Well, let's see if they attack us one more time, maybe. Nice. Should probably do this. Nice. You can please drop their org. The old enemy, because I really want to start coring stuff for us. South American unity. Now that we've obtained territory across the continent, it's time that we take on a new name to symbolize the fact that we're not just La Confederación Argentina, but South America as a whole. We have managed to unite the squalling states under one powerful banner at last. Nice. Maybe we can win here. Maybe we cannot. You know, you never know. Hey, we actually got there. Look at that. There's a foreign department. Good. Well, Ward Vision's no longer here, unfortunately. Whatever. Export focus. Uh, I guess we'll do an air doctor, maybe? I'm gonna give us the most bang for a buck. I don't know, I guess. Why not? 39. Artillery's good. Planes. I need more plane stuff. Better engines and whatnot.
Republican victory in the Spanish Civil War. Interesting. There you go. There you go. Nice. Um, you know what? We gotta go back up here. So I read this one last time. I established Liga Protect. I guess we're earlier. I guess we should say really. Was it really last time? Oh, we can integrate it. Now that we've united the people of South America under one banner, we can assert our dominance of the continent by bringing the territory of the former larger nations into the fold one, one at a time. Absolutely. <clears throat> what an interesting, nice blue color. Confederación Sud America. Very nice. Slowly start coring more stuff. That's why we need the political power. Um, we're not strong enough individually, though. Oh, Germany's going to get, they're going to get completely screwed over. Okay, then. You know what? You guys can have this. And we're going to start needing some more artillery. Uh, well, I guess we're going to need uh, more army XP first. Go figure. Uh, it's two divisions. And there's, oh, Ireland's gone. Goodbye, Ireland. All but you do that. Can you do that? Good army XP, don't get me wrong. Good. We have enough already for it. Fantastic. <coughs> this is only the first episode, but we're doing pretty well with it, I'd say. Six divisions is nice to have. We lost 10,000, which is actually kind of surprising how many we actually lost. You guys win there, maybe? Yes. Maybe a little more leverage around here. Yeah, the horses made it. Great. And that way, uh, As Asuncion uh, would be easier to maybe take out, perhaps. That would be great. Uh, keep going more stuff. Uh, where's this one? Atacama? Sure, why not? Okay, sure, why not? And planes are good and delicious. It's better radar, I suppose. And fascist researchers. Uh, these guys are just not really that great. Give them more time. They need. We, ooh, that's not good. We need to kill more guns. And now we're out of manpower. Okay. It's low priority. It's almost 94. Just go and do it anyways. Range is good. Okay, Germany, you cannot do any more. You're already dying to everybody else. You've already lost this part. They've done okay here, but they're losing this. Turkey's going to take it out, too. What are you thinking? Oh, I see. That's not good. Alright, so what do we got here? Three, three. This one's. Could you guys go here? No. But you guys can go here. <coughs> Excuse me. Even though we'll be fighting in the jungles, that still wouldn't be very good, but. Aral Kanya? Kanya? Nice. Cool. But, you know what? I think we might finish this war off screen. Uh, I'm going to demand compensation from Spain. Our Spanish brothers' success of taking back the power that was rightly theirs. Now, maybe they, we should remind them that we played their, our part in their success, and that's time for them to pay up and buy Spanish nationalists. Uh, unfortunately, Franco's coup was being back, and the Civil War has officially ended. Thousands of Spanish nationalists are now seeking to leave their Iberian Peninsula in search of a home that better suits their ideology. Given the historical connection between the two countries, we should open our doors for them to assist La Confederación Sudamericana's growing nationalist movement. 
I think it was earlier too, but our electricity sector is needing of upgrades, and so it would be wise for us to focus our resources and researching further technology to aid with our electrical developments. Investing in construction guilds, uh, they're the backbone of urban development. Our next task should be to funnel, uh, uh, funnel funding into Confederaciones of Sud Americanas guilds to ensure that their construction technology is able to keep up with the rest of the world in technical schools. By developing technical schools, uh, we can actively increase the amount of technical advisors we can employ across the government. Furthering this type of education is only bound up with work and our prowess, but if you enjoyed the video, please consider giving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we finish off Paraguay and probably go to war with Brazil. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.